Hello, this is your man Hummer, and welcome back to my channel. I know y'all guys see me mess with talk about this Duke figure a couple couple times. I show you the jetpack on another another video, but I was in War Walmart today, and um, went I went there to get a mop. And as I was going to get the mop, um, I said, "Well, I'm going to stop in the toy section." I went to stop in the toy section, and I saw. I'll be opening it up so it's a little junky. I saw this little Star Wars set. And in the Star Wars set, it did come with a, um, a small Star Wars figure. And let me see if I can find the way that I just put them at. I think I sat on them. Came with this little Star Wars figure right here. They're actually smaller than the 3.75 inch figures. They might be just a tad, a little bit more bigger than um, a diamond, a, 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 like those uh, Mega Block figures. But he do have some nice articulation to him. And the, the hand do go in and out. He even got a little small um, little trigger figure. And I felt felt kind of guilty I took his jet pack. But I gave the, he came with a jet pack. And here's his jet pack that's supposed to go on him. It fits on him perfectly. So I looked at jet pack. I looked at the jet pack. And I said, I'm going to buy it and see if it fit on my dude figure. Now, it doesn't really fit on the dude figure and the peg. Oh, you see how it sits out the peg. Believe it or not, that peg is a little too big for, uh, for the hole. But I trimmed it down a little bit. I'm gonna trim a little bit. I've been trimming it down a little bit, a little bit with my exacto knife. That little knife right there. Take a little bit of plastic off so it can fit in the hole. Another thing I do like about it is where, um, if I can get my hands on these, things do articulate in and out right there as you can see. So I thought I'd use that. Now I might just go ahead and just get another one of these because I felt kind of guilty to take his little jetpack with them. So. It's a progress I'm working on, and I did get another stand. Now, I know you said in my haul video, the Diamond Select, um, I mean, the Diamond Necker stand, flight stand. So, I did get another one of those. I did get that out of um, Books a Million. So, I thought I just want to show it all to the guys and show you what I'm doing. And um, I'm going to trim it down a little bit more, and uh, he's going to go on the shelf, and uh, it looks pretty good. So, everybody, have a good day. Good night and enjoy your collection. Um, by the way, before we go, let me show you how the shelf looking so far. I pretty much put a, little, a lot of the, uh, the Spider-Man or the flying type um, characters up top, pretty much. This shelf right here, pretty much not. This is more bigger random shelf. But what I am doing, what I am doing is pretty much just putting nothing but the G.I. Joe... Um, Hasbro slash stuff on this shelf right here and as you can see and I do have that Spider-Man on there and um, on his uh, web this web thing that did make himself that just pretty much came from um, uh, oh you know the zip ties and stuff that you get off of toys that's pretty much that came from I just kept on twining together and that's how that part of the shelf look and as we got a little bit more ways to go down there now I'm going to sign off, and um, I'll show you more of that shelf as we go. And that's how it looks all the way up top. And I've been getting up there. I've just been getting on top of this right here, and my knees is killing me. So I hope I have a good day, good night, enjoy your collection. And more exciting way, views are coming your way, how I do things. And you're, anybody who's been on my channel for a while, you know how we're doing. And um, be safe out there. Enjoy your collection. And I'll talk to you guys later in the next time you view the Holly Man.